With the permission from the GA, with the, 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 the temp check, we would like to allow him 10 minutes of our time. 10 minutes of our time. We do a temp check. Yeah. Alright, how you guys doing? Awesome. Alright, I'm going to uh, ignore the human mic because it doesn't really work with comedy. <laughs> <laughs> a priest, a priest, and a rabbi, and a rabbi. Walk into a bar, walk into a bar. <laughs> doesn't have the same effect. Uh, I hope you can hear me. By the way, I also use bad words, so if you can't handle those, please feel free to walk away for 10 minutes. <laughs> One down. All right. The rest of you can handle it. So, uh, anyway, uh, I, did, I came from New York City to, to uh, perform for you guys as well as... Uh, thanks. Uh, perform for you guys as well as uh, the, the Recall Scott Walker in, uh, in Madison. I, I was performing there, and, and it was amazing. I, just, I, I know that you kind of only get a sense of what's here, but you... Like I, I, I was on Occupy Wall Street on day one and, and, and been there a lot and, and Occupy DC, Occupy Montreal, Occupy Asheville, North Carolina, Occupy Ohio University. I've been to all of those and it's incredible. It's fucking incredible the energy that is spread across this country. It's spread across this country like a wave in a football game or a rash in a nudist colony. It's incredible. It really has. It, it started weak and weird, and then it became strong and angry, like Carrot Top. Really, really, really incredible, it has. And, 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 and you know, I, I feel like a lot of this goes back to 2008, which we never even, no one's even fucking gone to jail for that shit. Like, I, it's, it's amazing. It's, I, I don't even know what to play for a while. I blame Bush and Cheney because they're evil. Then I blame the Democrats because they're spineless. Then for a while, I blame David Hasselhoff. That was a weird time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, but you know, you, you, you picture what's going on, and it's... It, 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 those same people that caused that shit, the same billionaires, are now going after, like, teacher benefits. Really? Really? Teachers are heroes! Teachers deal with those little shit heads! They get paid by the guy at the zoo in charge of making sure the hippos fuck! <laughs> really? You're gonna go up to teaching? And then unions, like, sometimes you have to, I realize I'm preaching the choir here, but sometimes you have to tell me, like, yeah, well, you, you forget unions are responsible for tiny, forgettable things like a weekend, yeah. 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 nine to five, and healthcare right. if you have it, and, and getting kids out of the workplace, that alone was huge because kids are shitty workers. <laughs> they don't know what they're doing in the factory floor, pushing all kinds of buttons, flopping dudes' arms off. And, like, what do you mean, whoopsie? You've worked here four years. You are free. You should have this shit down by now. <laughs> you know, it's, it's amazing. They're going after that. And I think a fair wage should be something easy to pay. I don't care if it's the worst job in the world. I don't care if your job is cleaning up turds out of the corner of the turd factory. If you work full time, you should be able to afford to feed and clothe your right. kids. I mean, right. first of all, it's the moral thing to do. And secondly, with the size of our kids, none of us want to see them happy. Clothes? I don't want to see a ten year old boy's tits bouncing up and down on a sweaty summer day. Can't we get together as a country and buy that boy some pasties? You know? I realize Bill O'Reilly's going to call them socialist nipple tassels, but fine. I prefer that over capitalist boy boobs in my face. You know, and, 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 and being at these movements, you know, it really, it really has been incredible. And, and I, I realize that a lot of the police are just doing their jobs, but there's got to be a little voice in their head that's like, hey, maybe I should be arresting the, the, the bankers and the fucking Wall Street types <laughs> rather than humbling a 19-year-old with, with a head of tattoo trying to save the world with arts and crafts. <laughs> grandmother's wedding ring so that we could afford daycare so my wife could get a second job so that we could afford my father's Alzheimer's medicine. Maybe I shouldn't be beating down the, 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 the kids drawing in sidewalks. More money for smart kids and less money for smart bombs. You know, a little thing back there. And, and, you know, they're arresting people for, like, drawing in chalk. They're arresting people for, for, uh, for speaking in bullhorns in New York. And, and it's, it's like, I was thinking maybe we could finally arrest some of these bankers if we just trick them into getting in on one of the chants. You know, maybe, maybe then, if the chant were good enough, if they liked it enough, maybe then they would accidentally jump in. You know, you know if, if it were like, go ahead and call us twats, we have credit default twats. Right? Maybe we could finally arrest them.
It's absolutely insane. And you know, you've seen the media do what they do, which is the same approach to knock this shit down. And, and you know, call them dirty. And yeah, well, guess what? It's fucking, it's, revolutions are dirty, all right? And they, they don't usually happen over wine and cheese, you know? It's, it's <laughs> in someone's living room with the shoes off, so it's not to sully the carpet or the labradoodle. <laughs> If you look around at the marches, it's every age, it's every race, right. it's every type of person. But, woo, woo, woo. but even if the people that are sleeping at these occupations are young, well, well who else has to shit around, sit around in this shit for the next 70 years? Yeah. Who has more to lose? Who has to breathe the tainted right. air and eat the mutated fish and watch the fetid reality shit on TV? Mm. Creating, a, creating a nation of malignant imagination. It's yeah. the young people. It's the we the ones that gotta sit around in this rancid bathwater, twiddling our thumbs and flicking our ding dong. <laughs> going, remember back when we could have changed this shit? We should have like done something. Because <laughs> <laughs> our kids are gonna ask us, hey, where were you when you could have stopped this? And we're like, well, uh, Angry Birds was popular. We're <laughs> <laughs> uh, a lot of that. <laughs> and you see the media doing the same, the same fucking approach. It really is. And and and. I don't know. It, it, it really, we're standing up against the, the, the corporate greed that goes on, the, 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 the war for money. Like, it, it came out a year ago the U.S. is funding both sides of the war in Afghanistan. <laughs> both sides. We're paying the Taliban millions to let our drugs through so that we can fight the Taliban. We're losing a game of solitaire. We're losing a game of twister alone. It's like no wonder a scrappy group of insurgents in torn clothes and flip flops are able to compete with the most powerful powerful military in the world. They have us on their side. <laughs> That's how they're doing it. You know, and, 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 and so when the media finally started covering this shit, the New York Times, the left-wing New York Times, one of their first big articles was about how uh, Occupy Wall Street was heard in the bathrooms around Occupy Wall Street. Huh? Really? Did they say more about the harm done to bathrooms than Occupy Wall Street? <laughs> by Wall Street Titans who make Charlie Sheen's moral compass look like that of Harriet Tubman? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you care more about it? And then the article said that mothers are having trouble getting their strollers around police barricades. <laughs> well, God forbid the revolution should get in the way of your evening stroll with little trust fund. <laughs> That's awesome. And this is a revolution. It may not be a traditional revolution, but it's a revolution in thought, all right? People are tired of greed over good and profitable pollution over people. <laughs> You know, people are tired of that shit, and the revolution's not going to be tidy, it's not going to be sanitized. It'll be criticized, misconstrued, misunderstood, but it'll push through, alright? It's not going to be dissuaded by police barricades, driving rain, ankle sprains, or pepper 